So recently I got stung by a living ball of spikes. As you see, I was taking a trip to Hawaii, specifically the island Maui, and I was visiting my cousins and my uncle, and my uncle's a professional windsurfer, and so is his, his wife, who's, yeah, his wife. And it's technically, it's kind of my aunt, even though we're not related by blood. And anyway, so we were boogie boarding on this beach near a town called Lahaina, and in the, and on that trip, boogie boarding, which I'm not very good at by the way, I got stung by a living ball of spikes. The sea is called sea urchin. I will put a picture of one up on the screen now, but it's literally like a living ball of spikes. It's full of black spikes and it's jet black. So black that it looks like someone just ripped a ripped a ripped a rift into the world and it's just darkness. Um, and anyway, so I was just like boogie boarding and putting my board out and I kept stepping on stuff and I just assumed it was like rocks or something like sharp rocks and eventually I got out to the spot and I was out there for probably about 20 minutes and I, It wasn't that the waves weren't that big and so I just went back and I caught maybe a few small rides but nothing really big and it really wasn't that fun, but I had, time, I had I just enjoyed it anyway, I guess. Except that I had gotten stung by, like, not just one, but, like, five different sea urchins along the way. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of painful, not going to lie. Um, anyway, when I got back to the shore, I noticed that there was this, like, giant gash on my foot, as well as some mysterious black spots. And the gash was like three dimensional. Like there was some stuff, like it was coming out of my skin, look like. And so my mom went to the nearby town Lahaina to get some, to ask a pharmacist advice and get some maybe treatment options. And when she came back, she was like, yeah, it's definitely a sea urchin staying. You got stung by a sea urchin and you have to soak your foot in vinegar now. Yay! And after half an hour, um,. Yeah, and so, uh, no. And so, we went back to our house, or rental, and my mom prepared some vinegar for me, and we started soaking my foot in vinegar. And it was not only extremely painful, because, like, all my cuts were just suddenly, like, soaked in an unfamiliar liquid, and it hurt like a mother uh, I'm not gonna say that word, because it would get me demonetized. Well, not, like, demonetized anyway, but anyway. Um, and so after I tolerated it for about 40 minutes, bored as heck, on my laptop watching random YouTube videos, and in the last probably like five minutes, I'm with my friend Emily, um, just chatting, I guess. And so what happened was, yeah, after that happened, me and Emily were just like, yeah, we want to play some high pixel party games together. And so. I got off, and my mom was like, come on, just a little more, and I was like, no, I'm not doing that, I'm sick and tired of this, she, um, I'm gonna play some party games on Hypixel with Emily, and so she was like, fine, I can't make you do it, so I just went to do that, and I played for about half an hour, and my mom was like, oh, you gotta do more soaking, it hurt even more the second time, I don't know why, it just hurts so bad, and... Yeah, the vinegar apparently would just like dissolve the sea urchin spikes from my foot, except that it took forever. And there were like a hundred spikes just embedded into my feet. Ew, it was so bad. Um My dad got them too, but he he didn't like have them gashed and he didn't get as many. Turns out that my uncle had like forgot to warn us because he never touched the bottom because he's a he's an experienced swimmer. I'm not mad at him, I'm just disappointed and kind of frustrated that he made us, like, me get hurt because I didn't know that to not put my feet in the bottom. I didn't know that there were sea urchins there, and the rest of the trip was fun. I made a lot of good memories, but that was kind of a low light of a trip and something that I'd like to share with you and also something I kind of want to, um, extort for content. <laughs> Because what's a more clickable title than I got stung by a living ball of spikes, am I right? Uh, so anyway, thank you for watching today's video, and please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, as well as checking out my friend Emily, who goes by Emily to draw on YouTube. We'll give a link to her in the description, 
With that out of the way, see you next time. Goodbye.